Every meal is an opportunity to show our body that we're on its team. So as I walk through my breakfast with you today, ingredient by ingredient, I'm going to share with you how we can view these foods as such a gift and a privilege to be able to eat. Starting out with sourdough bread. Sourdough bread is a fermented food, meaning it contains probiotics. Probiotics are living gut bacteria that when we eat them, contribute to a healthy gut microbiome. And a healthy gut microbiome is crucial for not only good digestion, but pretty much everything, including immunity and mental well-being. Then we are adding avocado. If you are in weight maintenance, adding a source of healthy fat is a very intelligent habit to have because if we aren't adding healthy fats and we're in weight maintenance and we want to maintain great health, well, then the body is going to have to pull from its fat reserves, which if you're in weight maintenance, you don't have huge amounts of fat reserves to do what it needs to do. And you're going to start losing weight, which you don't want to do if you're in weight maintenance. So by incorporating these healthy fats, you allow your body to carry out all the processes that it needs to with fat without pulling from your fat stores. Then adding on lemon. Lemon is a great boost of vitamin C, which we know is great for the immune system. But also, did you know that vitamin C is vital for collagen production and also the absorption of iron? And collagen production, remember, is what is going to keep the skin elastic. Then adding on everything but the bagel seasoning, which is fantastic because you're adding on sesame seeds and poppy seeds and dried garlic and dried onion. And this diversity is great for the microbiome. The microbiome, the gut microbiome that is, thrives on diversity. So here and there, when you can add in bits and bobs of different ingredients is fantastic. And collagen production, remember, is what is going to keep the skin elastic. Then adding on almond butter, which is a great source of vitamin E. E. Vitamin E is an antioxidant that is going to protect our skin from environmental factors and oxidative stress, things like UV radiation and air pollution. Then adding on some banana. Bananas, yes, they have potassium, but also they have vitamin B6. And vitamin B6 is essential for our favorite neurotransmitters, serotonin and dopamine, which are going to help regulate our mood and our sleep. Then adding on cantaloupe. Cantaloupe is orange, which means it contains beta carotene. And beta carotene, the body is going to convert into vitamin A. And vitamin A is crucial for maintaining healthy vision. It is great for your eyes. This is why people say carrots are great for the eyes. It's true because of the beta carotene. And then adding in green zucchini and yellow squash. If you are in weight maintenance, you want to have a good balance of foods that are more calorically dense and foods that are more calorically dilute. You don't want to be on either side of the spectrum exclusively. So you don't only want to be eating low calorie foods and you don't only want to be eating high calorie foods. You want to have a balance of the two. And this plate is a great example. Adding in the green zucchini and the yellow squash is going to help balance out the overall calorie density of this meal. So that is how we started the day today. At the time of you watching this video, Slim is live. I can't believe it. I have been so excited to bring this to you. This is something I've wanted for so long. You know, I am somebody who has a piece of hair in her lip gloss. That's all I am. I am the queen of simplicity, organization, structure, giving you a clear cut, this is how you do it. So I can take the guesswork out of it for you. And Slim is exactly that. I just think about the people watching this video, for example. If you're watching this video, clearly you're somebody who cares about their health and wants to be healthy. Being healthy is really hard when there's so much confusion about how to do it correctly and there's overwhelm and we live busy lives and you have obligations and you're a mom or an aunt or a husband or a daughter or you're an employee you have or a business owner you have so many responsibilities on your plate you have hair in your lip gloss too that it can be hard to actually do it 
even if you want to, even if you're somebody who watches this video and envisions themselves living a healthy life, there are a lot of barriers that can keep you between the healthy life that you deserve. And the, the purpose of SLIM is so you can jump over all those barriers because inside SLIM, it tells you exactly what to eat based on your body, your unique goals, what your age is, what your height is, what your weight is, what your goals are, what your allergies are, what your preferences are, how many meals you like to eat a day, how many people you're cooking for. It tells you exactly what your workout plan is gonna be based on all that stuff. And it's not just a matter of food and working out, it's mindfulness too, which you know is my world. Mindfulness is my world, the mind-body connection. And that's why I have daily meditations in there. I have daily journaling sessions with me. I created, a, there's a community in there too. So you can make new friends who are on this lifestyle. One of my favorite sayings is go to where you're appreciated, not to where you're tolerated. And in the real world, when people might not understand the health journey that we're on, it can be, it can be really hard to find that. So inside Slim, it's this warm community where we lift one another up and where people want to make friends on this lifestyle. So you can go hang out with your friends in Slim. I am just so excited about it. So I am actually about to film the drop video that I'm posting on Instagram. By the time that you're watching this video, you've already seen it if you follow me on Instagram. That was a test. Do you follow me on Instagram? But yeah. At the time of filming this, it's the day before launch, but the time of you watching this, it's after launch. I haven't even introduced myself. My name is Jennifer Lopez. Hey, I'm Healthy Emmy. I'm the creator of Slim. I'm a weight loss specialist. I'm a nutritionist. And you and I are besties. We're homies. I appreciate you. You are not tolerated here. You're appreciated here. Wherever you are on your journey, thank you so much for being a part of this journey. I just, everybody that watches this video, I literally love you. I, I really truly mean that. As somebody who is a, who loves YouTube, YouTube is like my world. I love YouTube. And I understand that there are people that become a part of your day. They become a part of your routine. It's who you watch when you're getting ready. It's who you watch when you're cooking. And I have such an appreciation for what it looks like on the other side of the camera, the person watching the video. And just thank you for making me a part of your day. I, you're the best. I love you. Okay, I'm back from my workout. Coming at you again to make another sandwich. I accidentally bought two loaves of the rosemary garlic sourdough that I showed you in a recent video. So I, I guess I just have to keep having sandwiches. So let's get out the ingredients. My hair looks a little chaotic. Look who has come to join me. I was away for the weekend. Now I gotta wash my hands again. But anybody who has a cat or a dog, any pet that loves you when you're away, they do not like that. I mean, boo. All over me. You don't want your mama to leave, huh? He's so cute when he does that little. I gotta wash my hands again. So, kava hummus. I picked up kava hummus yesterday because I wanted a Caesar salad last night. And so I used this as the dressing. I mixed it with some lemon juice, some garlic, some nutritional yeast, and called it a Caesar dressing. And this is a little bit thicker than the cedars. The cedars doesn't have any tahini, so this has a little bit more creaminess. Bell peppers, roasted red peppers, onion balsamic. You've seen me do this before. Here's my Caesar dressing from last night. I literally just threw in here the ingredients that I talked about and just... So I have cut the peppers in half. I just took three bell peppers and cut them in half. All right, so you see I've got the peppers and the oven is on broil. I've got a half of a red onion here. I'm just gonna put this into my microwave steamer. I'll steam it for about four, four to five minutes. I do have some grapes that I got from the farmer's market in Chicago, but I've got to show you because I just cleaned them. Please make sure you clean your produce. Look at all of that that has come off just from soaking them in the solution. Here are the broiled peppers. How gorgeous. I just threw them on the pan, <laughs> but they're gonna go on the sandwich now. So let's make the sandwich. Adding on our kava hummus. Lettuce. The bell peppers. Oh, how I love onion. Roasted red peppers. Another one of my faves. Now for fruit. I'm gonna have some of the farmer's market cantaloupe. I'm gonna have the orange do. How good does that look? Oh my goodness. 
Yum. So to accompany my gorgeous lunch here today, I am going to do the journal session from Slim. So I usually like to do the journal session at the end of the day, but it is Monday and I have calls at five o'clock and at 5.30. So my evening routine is a little bit different at, at night. So I'm gonna do the Slim journal topic with my lunch. Let's see what the Slim journal topic of the day is. I love the Slim journal, journal topic because it's always a very simple question that is just so thought provoking. Okay, so today's journal topic that I'm gonna journal on while I do. And it's funny, I've done this one before because I actually do the journal with you when it's within the app, but it's always fun to look back at what you answered the first time around and see how it changes. So today's journal topic from Slim is, how would your life change if you were to set aside the fear that's stopping you from pursuing what you truly want? What a good way to enjoy my meal. After lunch, I'm also having one of my brownies that I made in my recent vlog. This, these are the squash brownies made from squash. I put them in the fridge. They're so good right out of the fridge, nice and cool. So yum, I'm gonna have one of these. Of course, I am taking my vitamin B12 as I do daily. Make sure you've got yours. This is the cleanest you're going to find. No GMOs, no sugar, no oil, no gross stuff. And my vitamin D is almost out. I can taste it. It is so close to being ready. And hey, if you want to be notified when my vitamin D supplement is ready, vitamin D3, it's going to be vegan. Well, it is vegan. <laughs> clean, same thing here. Vegan, clean, premium ingredients, one active ingredient. I'll leave a link in the description so that you can get an email notification when it's ready. But for now, I'm taking my B12. By the way, I did mention this in a previous vlog that I am currently, when you're within Slim, there's videos on how to do every exercise, but I'm currently updating all of them so that I'm gonna show you how not to do the exercises as well to help you prevent injury. Okay, so we're starting out with chest press. And when you do the chest press, what you don't wanna do is push it out and then lock your elbows and wait there and then come back. You don't wanna rest when you're up there. You wanna keep your movements. You wanna make sure that you're doing it and you're continuing and you're not pausing and taking those breaks. And if you find that you're pausing and taking breaks, then lower your weight a little bit so that you can focus on your form and keeping it controlled and steady and doing the full range of motion, not going too fast. If you're going crazy, then you don't have enough weight. And if you find that it's so heavy and you're using your entire body and then you lock your elbows at the top, that's no good either. When you are doing the single arm dumbbell row, what you don't wanna do is pull the weight up right to your chest there right you see I'm all scrunched up here instead you want to pull the weight back you see the difference between what's going on with my arms here it will feel very different you don't want to scrunch it all up at the top and make it all tense up here and get injured when doing a dumbbell chest fly you want to make sure that there's a little bit of a bend in your elbows if your arms are completely straight then you're going to put a lot of tension on your shoulders which you don't want to do sometimes people also tend to use too much weight here you don't want to use a huge amount of weight here because this is not an exercise that's going to make you big it's an exercise that's going to make you toned and when you have an exercise like this that's going to help more with shape as opposed to building new muscle and you know this is going to be something that's going to tone you as opposed to making you a huge macho man with a bunch of muscle you want to be okay with doing a lower amount of weight and really working on form and increasing the amount of reps that you're doing also at the top of the movement the dumbbells do not touch so don't clank them together at the top. Also make sure to keep your back flat on the bench. Don't over arch your back, that will cause injury. With the single arm row that you are doing on the cable, what you want to make sure of is that when you're pulling it back, there should be a little bit of room, about a fist between the torso and the arm so that you can get some range of motion there. We don't wanna keep it all together like this. When you're doing the dumbbell side bends, you wanna inhale as you go down Exhale as you come up and you do want to contract as you come up too. So you see me, I'm going to lean a little bit to the side when I come up. So it's not just down and then back to center. It's down, back up and contract a bit. Do this slow, do this in a slowly, do this in a controlled manner because what we don't want to happen is that you start relying on momentum and you're flailing around and you're not actually targeting the core. 
So do make sure you keep the core engaged. I went to Chicago this past weekend and I had full intentions of vlogging. I started the vlog. I am off to Chicago. I am headed to the airport, but I was staying with at one of my best friend's house. Okay, let me back up. I live in Boston, grew up in the Boston area with a very tightly knit group of friends. We've been friends forever. There's photos of us doing recitals when we're like three. Erin, one of the gals, lives in Chicago. She moved to Chicago with her boyfriend. Five of us, no, four of us went to visit her this past weekend and we all stayed in her one bedroom apartment. <laughs> so the four of us slept in the living room and she slept in her bedroom with her boyfriend, but it was very close quarters. It, there was no way I could have vlogged without breaching the privacy of my friends, which I didn't want to do. They didn't ask to be on camera. I didn't want to force them to be on camera. So what I did instead was I took photos of everything that I ate so that I could come back and talk it through with you. So here is what I ate in Chicago. Night number one on the river, we went to Pizzeria Porto Vino. Pizzeria Porto Vino. And I was talking to the waitress and I said, can you make me a pizza without cheese? And she was like, you know that's just gonna be bread and sauce. And I said, I have a plan. So I got this beautiful pizza without the cheese. They put basil on it. So it was a marinara pizza, which by the way, is a thing, a marinara pizza. I'm just saying. And then I got a salad on the side and I didn't get any dressing on the salad and I didn't get any animal products on it, but then I got a side of balsamic vinegar. So what I did was I took a slice of pizza and then I put the salad on top, which salad on top of a pizza, fire, and then put on some balsamic vinegar and it was delicious. The next morning we went to the farmer's market in Lincoln Park and they had gorgeous fruit. So I had prune plums and then I also bought grapes, which taste like Welch's grape juice. My friends could not believe it. And I set that out so that we could all share the grapes in the prune plums. And then we walked to a deli called North Buena Deli. The sandwich I got next level. I got the vegan sandwich and I asked for extra veggies, no onions. So it is served on Tuscan bread, this beautiful roll of bread. I love fresh bread. I love a sandwich with fresh bread. That's one of my faves packed with veggies and hummus. It was so good, so satisfying. So we had these in the park and then I wanted to go get a little treat for myself because there is a really cute store called Chicago Health Food Store. And I love checking out little stores like that and supporting them and I wanted to get a little treat. So I picked up this Romeo Active Superfood Chocolate. I'm not a huge like, bar of raw chocolate kind of bar of chocolate kind of person like I never do this it's not my type of thing it's not my dessert of choice but it had little pieces in it and I thought I can break it up into pieces and we can all share it surprisingly people were not very interested in my superfood chocolate but I had a piece of it and it was good. Would I buy it again? No, not because it was bad, because I'm not that type of person who likes a bar of chocolate. But if you do like a bar of chocolate, I was really impressed by the ingredients, how few ingredients there were. And yeah, it was a cute little purchase. Then this hummus, oh my gosh. Baba's hummus, I couldn't believe it. I picked it up because I was like, maybe it, maybe it doesn't have oil added and it didn't have any oil added and it was so good. So I picked up this hummus, had this. And then for dinner, we went to Bellevue is the name of the restaurant in Navy Pier. And I, you know, I'm very clever with when I go to a restaurant, how I sort it out. I got a side of bread. They had gorgeous bread. So I got that bread and had a few pieces of it and gave the rest to the table. And I got a salad and the salad had lentils and it had veggies and it did come with a dressing and cheese. So I just asked for it without the dressing and the cheese. And I made for myself, added some balsamic vinegar and I made for myself like a little sandwich. So I had the bread, I had the salad. It was a little sandwich situation. That is the also. Also at the farmer's market, I got what's called a sugar cube. It's a little mini cantaloupe. 
and I ate half of it yesterday because I brought it home with me. It's not as sweet as if you saw in the last vlog, the melon that I had. Oh my gosh, but it's pretty good. And here's a little photo of the sandwich that I had when I got home yesterday. I made a sandwich and I added the sugar cube melon, a prune and some of the grapes. And the grapes really do taste like Welch's grape juice. Everywhere that I went, Chicago, this is my first time in Chicago, by the way, gorgeous adorable. The service at all the restaurants, spectacular. So if you're from Chicago, you have a beautiful city and hopefully you can go support those businesses that I just mentioned. I had wonderful service at all of them. And even at Buena Vista Dil Dilly Deli, at Buena Vista Deli, uh, I said, you can, I said, load up on the veggies. You can charge me extra. And he said, I won't charge you extra. So sweet. So tomorrow, my boyfriend, my fiance, Will I ever get used to it? We're gonna have a two year engagement. So I'll call him my fiance. We'll be like five years into marriage and I'll start calling him my fiance. My husband is gonna be, forget about it. That'll never stick. He comes home tomorrow. He is currently on a work trip. So tomorrow I'm gonna be making a little, we're gonna do a little dinner date. And I will show you that. I mentioned a little bit earlier that my fiance is coming home tomorrow and I'm gonna make us a dinner and I, I'm going to make it tonight for myself to, you know, I usually only make this on the holidays. And so I just kind of want to do a test run tonight. So I'm going to be eating this for tonight, tonight's dinner and tomorrow's dinner. So a very high protein dinner for me two nights in a row. I love this seitan. I get it at Whole Foods and it is local to the Boston area because it is made in Middletown, Connecticut. So we have it in the Boston Whole Foods. But I mean, you could even make your own seitan or Upton's has a great seitan too. And I won't give away the whole recipe. I give away a lot of recipes, but I gotta keep some in the books. The seitan marsala though. I just wanna show too, the insane amount of protein in this. This is insanity. There's nine grams and there's four servings per container. So this is nearly 40 grams of protein and I'll eat this whole container. <laughs> And then actually the, the mushrooms are gonna have a lot of protein too. This is, this is crazy. This is the bread that I have. Authentic French mini rolls. <laughs> I always just look at the ingredients and make sure that they're up to par. There's no oil or any junk added. And actually they are fermented, which is cool. So there's uh, some probiotics in here. But I love the take and bake because then I don't have to bake it all the way. And I, I kind of like when the bread is more doughy so i'll have two of these here it is in the skillet all cooked it looks kind of funky it looks like beef as we know it is not but it is delicious and i'll plate it up and have it with my bread all right it is in the bowl it looks a lot more appetizing in the bowl oh my gosh i'm telling you if you have a meat eater they will love this it is and i'm not a meat eater never never loved meat and I just, it's just so tasty. This recipe was inspired by my favorite vegan restaurant that shut down in the Boston area. It was called Walnut Grill and rest in peace, but they actually took me back into the kitchen and showed me how to make this without oil. So I love this recipe and my bread, my bread is in the oven baking up. If you made it to this point of the video, I want you to comment homies because I want to know who my homies are. And don't forget to join the Slim program using the link in the description. I will see you inside. The next video that pops up on the screen is going to be one that you love. See you there. Woo!